using AI, artificial intelligence, to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ. AI is a powerful tool that can help us do many things that were just not possible before. Christians need to start using AI, artificial intelligence, to advance the gospel and build the kingdom. But how is that possible? What can AI do to help us in ministry? In this video, we'll quickly discuss several ways that ministers can use artificial intelligence for the purposes of God. AI can help with sermons and messages. Imagine sharing an anointed and important message with your fellowship, which you recorded on your phone. With AI, it can take that recording and turn it into a nicely formatted printable page with the full sermon for people to read with all the correct punctuation and spelling. Or you can have AI just build you a summary highlighting the main points of your message that people need to remember. This is nothing new. Pastors have been doing this for a while, but it used to take a lot of extra time or a ministry team to put this together. But not all of us have a large ministry team or a big budget. And now with AI, it's basically free. Finding scripture references. Imagine you're giving a sermon on divine healing and you need scripture references for God's healing power. Watch as I ask the AI, what are the biblical references to divine healing? And it gives them to me faster than I can look them up. Making a sermon graphic. Imagine you're giving a sermon on forgiveness and you have this story about two tribes coming together and forgiving each other. And you want to show an image that captures that idea. In the past, you could ask your church graphic artist to make that picture or get one online and hopefully not violate any copyrights. Watch as I have an AI engine build me examples of that image. Answering vague biblical questions. Watch me ask the vaguest question about the prophet Jonah and see if the AI can figure out who I'm talking about. There's some guy uh, somewhere in the Bible who wasn't obeying something God said, so some people threw him in some water and something took him somewhere to talk to some people about something. I can't get much more vague than that. And as you can see, AI figured out who I was talking about. So now with AI, if you have the foggiest memory of a Bible story or verse, it can help you find what you're searching for. Refining a message. AI can help you polish a message or sermon. I can give the AI my sermon and ask, is there any part of this sermon that people might misunderstand? Or, what is the clearest way of saying this? Or, how can I say this in a way that's easy for people to remember? Or, 
Is there a poetic way of saying this? Or what's a good joke about bankers that I can use in my sermon? Or what lessons can I learn from King David's life? AI can be used in refining your biblical messages. For example, polishing a message, condensing a message, making a cross-reference to your message, or finding other biblical examples of your ideas. Reading a book. Maybe you wrote a Christian book in the past and now want to release the audiobook version. AI, artificial intelligence, can read your book, using a pleasant voice, like the one you're listening to now, and build you an audiobook, so you can share it on social media sites. Translating a message. AI can not only translate your message, but it can also take an audio message and translate that using your same voice as though you spoke it in that other language. And soon it will be able to take your video, translate the audio and adjust the video image to make it look like your mouth was speaking the other language. As you can imagine, this can save a lot of time and money on translation services. Audio remastering. I was watching a ministry video where the background music was way too loud and I could barely hear the speaker. So I had an AI take that video, enhance the speaker's voice and lower the background music, which is a lot easier than re-recording a message. Building a video. Maybe the Lord gave you a wonderful dream and you want to share that dream with your congregation. Imagine going to an AI, explaining the dream and having the AI build a professional video, reenacting the dream with all its parts so you can share it with others. That ability of making movies just by speaking what is happening is right around the corner. We could already do this if we had a full production team, but soon we'll be able to do it for free. Remember, artificial intelligence is just a tool. You don't put any faith in it. Like a hammer is a tool. A hammer can be used for good or evil. A hammer can be used to build an orphanage or it can be used to build an idol. And like AI, it's just a tool. Here's an example of AI being used for evil. AI, should I practice witchcraft? Here, the AI is giving me logical reasons for using witchcraft, but it's dead wrong. So again, don't put any faith in AI. Just use it as a tool, directing it to do good things, not evil. And as usual, wicked people will find ways of using AI for mischievous reasons. Let's go on with other ways to use AI for the gospel. Imagine your kids are fighting and won't share their toys. Now watch as I ask AI to write me a children's story about why kids should share their toys. But here are some other ministry functions 
that can be helped with artificial intelligence. Legal. Do I need a permit to play worship music in New York's Central Park? AI, how do I register my charity for a 501c3 nonprofit status? Trivia. What are some difficult Bible trivia questions about the book of Jeremiah? HTML. Build me a web page that beautifully displays Psalms 23 with a light blue background. Technical. Why does my Nard Stage 3 piano only play out of the left channel? Social. What's a good biblical message I can post to encourage people to keep praying and seeking God. Cultural. What are some cultural taboos I should be aware of when ministering in Tibet? Or what parts of the city of Moscow are dangerous at night? Remastering. AI, take my sermon video and remove the parts where I was coughing. Remove the part where I dropped the microphone and remove the noise from the air conditioner in the background and give me some reverb for my voice. Graphical, AI, build me a logo for my mission trip to Egypt that shows a large cross over the map of Egypt. Also, AI can take the pictures from my church's website and upscale and enhance them to full HD resolution, even though I took them with an old camera. Financial. AI, are there any ministries in Nigeria that will host missionaries? AI, look over my church's credit card statement and tell me how much we're spending on food. Musical. AI, play some Christian background music while I do an altar call. Also, in my own house, I have several Alexa devices. I have them continually playing praise and worship music or reading scripture verses in the background. Research. AI, how many chapters of the Bible did the Apostle Paul write? Creating song lyrics. Programming. AI, write a computer program that will input a day from the Gregorian calendar and tell me what day that is in the Hebrew calendar. AI, remind me to attend the prayer conference on February 30th. Or... AI, wake me up at 3 a.m. to pray. Medical, 
AI, what are some foods that will increase my energy? Correspondence. AI, take this email I received and expand out every Bible reference so I can read it. Security. AI, sound an alarm if there's any adult in the children's area that is not on staff with our church. Or, AI, Sound an alarm and call security if there are any shots heard on campus. Or, AI, turn on all the lights and call security if you hear any window being broken. Or, AI, if I'm in the car and my phone sensors indicate a crash occurred, notify my wife. Reading. AI, read me the book of Ephesians. Or, read me the book The Pilgrim's Progress. Or, read me a daily Bible lesson. Or, AI, I took a picture of this ministry handout. Read it to me. Physical tasks. AI, vacuum all the floors. Or, Cut the grass. Entertainment. AI, ask me some Bible trivia. Competition. AI, build me a robot that will attack and tear down that other church across the street. Savings. AI, if nobody's phone is in the church, then turn off the heating and air conditioning. AI, where's the cheapest place to buy gas on my way to work? Location. AI, where's my wife located now? Preaching. AI, if I mention a scripture verse while I'm preaching, then put that verse using the amplified version on the main screen. As you can see, AI can be a great tool for advancing the gospel. It can allow ministries that don't have big budgets to do things that only large churches were able to do before. So in ministry, don't ignore AI. Learn what's available. A lot of new features are coming online all the time. And use it for God's glory. Amen?